Let's see. This is the stock Brembo brake disc that's on the Street Fighter V2. And this is the brand new Galfa Flowtech Racing aluminium brake disc. But is it only the looks that differentiate these two brake discs? Or is it an upgrade that's worth the money? To answer your question, we have to dive a little bit deeper than only looking at the products. First, you have to ask yourself, what are you using your brakes to? Day-to-day -day commute in city traffic? Or do you find yourself high speeding at a track, of course, occasionally, where temperature is a matter of performance? See, when looking at both of these brake discs, they may appear quite similar. But what you can tell is how the structure and choice of material is improving the thermal brake, of course. Confused? When buying a top tier brake setup from Galfa, you don't only receive beautifully designed products, but a 70 year long process of development, researching and race history products. When riding with high temperature discs above 200 degrees, the brake rotor tends to expand in all directions. But the new Galfa Flowtech system makes it possible to control this growth and avoid potential problems. But that's not it. The new golden trident pin that joins the two parts of the brake disc, rotor and the hub is made out of titanium and improves the thermal break between the two parts due to its low thermal conductivity. Other materials such as aluminium are more conductive and transfer heat more directly. And as you can see, already from the unboxing experience, you know that you're in good hands. So for you guys, where weight is a matter of uh, choice, uh, I have to take a little digital weight with me so we can see if there is any difference in weight in between the stock Brembo brake disc. And just for your information, these are the 320 millimeter brake discs. The stock Brembo comes in at a weight at 1360, 59, it can't decide. And the Galfa Flowtech Racing Aluminium Disc comes in at a weight at 1362. So basically no difference at all. So right before we jump into what is going to be a huge pain in the ass the assembly, let me just talk a little bit about who Galfa really is. Galfa is a 70 year old brand that produces brake system for all types of motorcycles and consumers, cruiser riders, enduro bikes, sports bikes, Moto2, Moto3, they have athletes using their products in almost every type of two wheel competition there is. And now? They also have a content creator on the list because I can proudly now announce that I'm an official Galfer ambassador for the year of 2023. I am super stoked and super proud about representing one of the biggest hot hitters there is when it comes to brake systems. So thank you Galfer. So when it comes to changing the rear disc on the Ducati Street Fighter V2, Ducati is almost laughing at you just by knowing what type of task you have in front of you. And after these small, easy 12 steps, we're finally ready to change the rear disc and the rear pads as well.
So, the rear disc has a little bit more funkier design that you're probably used to because this is the, the one from Galfa and this is the stock Brambo. And this design is called Cubic and it has some, some benefits. The design is improving the, what can I say, the, the cooling because the heat cannot travel all the way around the disc due to these huge holes, but it is also reducing the weight up to 40% on some of the discs. Let's see, the Brembo rear disc comes in at a weight at 1000 grams, so that's a whole kilo. The Cubic comes in at a weight at 862 grams, so that is almost 20% reduced weight on only the rear disc. 